Filing a complaint against a bad car dealer. Were you the victim of a scam, deceptive practices, or think your dealer violated consumer protection laws? Today, we're giving you 11 ways to handle it. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Today's amazing video is brought to you by The Homework Guy team, home of super high intensity training for car buyers, and a very savvy group of auto experts to boot. Today, we're going to help you understand how to deal with dealers who mistreat you, pull scams on you, lie to you, or violate consumer protection laws in your state. We'll even help you better understand where specific types of complaints should go to reduce time waiting to get your problem solved. If you're thankful the Homework Guide team is on your side, helping you with our great videos, and you want to support our efforts, well, there are plenty of ways to get on board and show us a little appreciation. Well, for one, share the videos with your friends and help us get to a million subscribers on this channel. Believe me, this isn't a video that anyone in the car business wanted us to publish. For decades, car dealers haven't done much to dispel the popular opinion that they rip people off. For those car dealers out there who like to come here and protest on this channel that business has totally changed in the car business, well, you're still sitting right there on the bottom, dead last on the most recent Gallup poll for most to least trustworthy professions. Proof? that there are plenty of those bad actors still out there. That said, there are also dealers who have really worked hard to up their game and are trying hard to treat customers better these days. And if that describes your dealership, well, we applaud you. While it's always encouraging to hear some dealers are doing a lot better, it doesn't mean you won't run into problems or you won't get ripped off. It's also very common to find errors in paperwork or problems with a new car after you've driven off the lot. Call them accidental errors or purely intentional problems caused by the dealer, but problems exist in abundance out there. For people in the car business who insist that all of this bad stuff is long gone, there's no such thing about that. You should read the thousands of emails that flutter inbox at The Homework Guy. Our email, info at thehomeworkguy.com, can have thousands of emails at any given time, all people very frustrated with car dealers. It's abundantly clear to us that the industry has its work cut out to clean up the act. For those of you who had a problem with your last car deal, there's a couple steps you should take first. Instead of immediately filing a complaint or contacting the authorities, give the dealer the benefit of the doubt and go back and talk to them. Make sure you document your visit, even download website pictures of who you talk to. I'll get back to this later as to why that's useful. Document what you discussed and what the outcome was. Even record it if you're bad at taking notes, but give them a chance to fix what's wrong. Good dealers make mistakes too. Nobody's perfect, and the good guys will try to rectify the situation when you contact them. Then, there's a group of dealers who earn those really low reviews on the Gallup polls. Well, they need a much heavier hand to get things settled with them. These are the guys who earn the bottom dweller status I referenced. For these dealers, you might have to visit them a few times, and if you're already on your second or third visit to that dealer, it's time to turn up the heat. I recommend you go right to the showroom floor and start discussing your problem with other customers. This is really shrewd. Don't yell, but be very vocal. Bring along the names and the printed out pictures of the people you talked to before. Make sure everyone knows what the problem is and who is failing to fix it. Go down to the service lounge where they usually have customers waiting on cars that are in service, and tell those people too. Tell everyone you see there that you have a problem and explain what the dealer did. The time-wasting and messing around they like to do, well, that little dog and pony show is going to end mighty quickly. They'll get you into a private office and fix your issue as fast as possible. A problem customer on the floor can cause a lot of people to get up and walk out, and you could prevent future customers, those people that were sitting back there in the service area, yeah, you could prevent them from ever wanting to come back. They definitely don't want that. I mentioned the importance of having a picture and the full name of the people that you've been dealing with. If they don't fix your problem, you can post your issues in their online reviews and include the names and pictures of the people you talk to. Dealers work very hard at protecting that online image, even if they have to cheat to do it. And yes, a lot do. So, they don't want your issues suddenly finding new life on Yelp or Google or Facebook or any other similar site. New car buyers also have an additional arrow in the quiver that you need to know about. 
The manufacturer of your vehicle is going to send you a customer satisfaction survey, usually a few weeks after you bought your new car. Unlike many other product surveys, this actually is very important to dealers. Manufacturers use these surveys to determine how many cars to allocate to the dealer and to determine bonus amounts that will be paid. Use that to your advantage. If enough complaints show up because the dealer has done this to others, they could even lose their right to sell those new cars. Now, what do you do if the dealer you happen to buy a car from is just one of those shady hustlers that digs in their heels and refuses to fix the problem? For these shysters, you're going to have to go the extra mile to resolve a problem. You have several options, and here's just a few of them. Number one, send us the story at info at the homeworkguy.com. Include all the details. We'll help by putting a story out on it, helping to push the dealer to make the right decision. We'll help make them infamous. Just put car dealer complaint story in the email title and we'll be on it. Number two, contact your state attorney general's office. This is one of the offices that car dealers fear the most. If a dealer gets too many complaints, they could be fined or even their franchise license revoked. And they take these very seriously. Just type in your state, followed by the attorney general, and you'll easily find contact information. Number three, contact the Better Business Bureau. I say this a little tongue in cheek. This used to be more popular than it is today. And yes, people put more faith in the BBB than they ought to. But if the dealer posted that they're a member of the BBB, file a complaint with them too. It gives them more red tape to deal with on your complaint. And perhaps the BBB will side with you and post your complaint for other customers to see. Just be aware that the BBB is a member organization. So all of their good intentions... Well, they do a lot to protect their members, like the dealership you're complaining about. I would consider this more along the lines of being a nuisance complaint than really getting any results. BBB does almost nothing, but many people still believe in it, so I had to say it. Number four, go to the dealer review websites and file your complaint. I mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. Have a picture and name of the people that you've been dealing with, and then do online reviews, which include the names and pictures of the people involved. Car dealers work very hard at protecting this online image because they know car buyers use these sites to determine which dealer to visit. So they don't want your issue suddenly finding new life on Yelp, Google, Facebook, and many of the dealer rating sites. Number five, if your complaint is about a deceptive dealer, ads and practices, well, file a complaint with your state consumer protection agency and the FTC, that's the Federal Trade Commission. Number six, if it's related to service of your vehicle, including a repair shop, you can file your complaint again with your state consumer protection agency. Number seven, if it has to do with your car loan or payments, file a complaint with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Number eight, if it's a car warranty issue connected to any kind of warranty you bought at the dealership, this complaint should most definitely go right to the Attorney General's office in your state. Number nine, a safety-related issue with your vehicle is a complaint that should go to the Department of Transportation. Number 10, contact your local paper or news agency and encourage them that you have a story worth covering. You'd be surprised. News cameras have shown up to talk about a well-articulated story that seems like it would get interest in the community. Number 11, finally, you can always hire an attorney and have them go after the dealership. While a shady dealer can be a bit of a prick, they really don't like having an attorney breathing down their neck. It tends to get them moving a little faster. I hope I gave you a few ideas and options you may not have thought of before. Resolving problem issues with dealers are always a pain in the backside, but consistent and firm resolve often gets you to where you want to go. If you appreciate the video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy. And make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter and all the other social media sites that we're on. We post notifications and other updates out there for you guys and answer car buying questions on the other sites as well. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in the description box down below and on our website. Here's the best part. We don't just help car buyers. We use your tips to sponsor great causes like Maggie. This amazing young lady is making a huge difference in the lives of university students, inspiring them to get more out of their degrees and the lives ahead of them. We enthusiastically sponsor her mission 
and Maggie thanks you in advance. Just like the Homework Guide channel, Maggie knows that you change the world by what you do. If you can't do a tip, no problem. Just help us get the word out. The Homework Guide team loves it when you share our videos with your family and friends and encourage others to subscribe to the channel. You could help us get to a million subscribers. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.